now is we have a problem. Uh, we have a uh, trapezoid. We have two sets of parallel lines. And with those parallel lines, we have two variables that we need to solve for. So um, typically what I would do is, you know, I know that a, a quadrilateral, all the angles and interior angles of the quadrilateral add up to 360. So it'd be very easy to write an equation, you know, this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle that we're gonna figure out here real soon will all add up to 360. However, I'm solving for an X and a Y, so that's gonna create a problem. Um, so we're gonna have to determine other ways to use, to use our figure to solve for X and Y. First thing I'm gonna do is I need to figure out what this angle is. Well, I know that 108 and this angle make up a straight line. And since they make up a straight line, we call them supplementary angles. And supplementary angles add up to 180. So I can just say 180, let's just call this, uh, let's call this Z. So 180, Where am I getting 180? Yeah, 180, all right. Equals Z plus 108. Subtract 108, all right, and you get 72 equals Z. So now I can write 72 there. Okay, so we figured that one out. Now, the next thing that's kind of helpful here is we have two parallel lines. And whenever you have two parallel lines, it's really important because you can extend them indefinitely and what parallel lines give you is also when you have a, um, they give us alternate interior angles and corresponding angles and same side interior when we're given transversals. And remember, transversal is any line that intersects two parallel lines. So if you really, you kind of extend all the lines of your uh, trapezoid, what we've just created again is another parallel line problem. Parallel, yeah, line problem. So I need to see how do all my numbers, how do all these relate? All right, so since these two, since these two lines are equal, I know that 72, this, and this angle are what we call um, alternate interior angles. So therefore, this is equal to 72. I can also say that 5y, this angle, and this angle are equal to each other because these are alternate interior angles. So therefore, I can set up two, two equations. I can say 5y is equal to 120, and 2x is equal to 72. I also could have done it by using corresponding angles. You could have said 5y and these two are equal to each other. And since these two add up to, uh, are, um, then you could say that 5y plus 120 equals 180, same thing. Or you also could have said uh, 72, and this is 72 as well. Well, anyways, I like to use, oh, what am I doing? Jeez. 5y is not equal to 120, right? Thank you. So I'm showing you guys why, where you can get confused. 5y and 120, they're not equal to each other. You can see that's an acute and that's an obtuse, all right? So slow down, don't always go so fast, and don't just always buy everything that a teacher's writing up on the board. We know that 5y and these two are equal to each other because they're alternate to your angles. We know that these two angles are equal to each other because they're corresponding angles. But when you have two angles that make up a straight line, those two angles add up to 180. Same thing over here. These two are alternate interior. These two are corresponding. Whenever two angles add up to make a straight line, you can say 2x plus 72 equals 180. So now I subtract 120 and I get 5y is equal to 60. Divide by 5, y equals 12. Over here, I subtract 72. 2x equals 108. And you also, are these parallel? Yeah, you also could have determined that these are alternate interior angles, so you could have said 2x equals 108 by alternate interior angles. That would have worked. Divide by 2, x equals 54. So that's how you solve for x and y when given a quadrilateral or a trapezoid um, by extending lines to make parallel lines.